Oh yeah, I forgot. Everybody loves me. <laughs> Look at all the hearts. Card from your mother. Quickly, come to the map room and speak to me. Come to the map room and speak to me. Well, Guildmaster, I would love to, but I got stuff to collect. Go and go get some silver keys. I still think one of the hardest achievements I have ever gotten in any game, achievement or trophy, is a tie between Ethan Must Die and beating the final level in Call of Duty 4 on veteran difficulty. Or the, the highest difficulty, whichever one it is. That, the, the Mile High Club, I believe it's called, for 20 gamer score is a son of a bitch. That is one of the hardest achievements I have ever gotten, ever. But I felt so accomplished when I managed to do it. Oh, thank you. That's a, that's a lovely pimp hat. You can't exploit aging in reverse and anniversary because they removed hero save. Oh, that's fine. I want my character to die of old age. Your character won't die of old age because that would just end the game prematurely, but... At least I thought of it. I'm Peter Molyneux. Hello. Welcome to my design class on video games. Promise a lot. Give them nothing of what you promised. This is precisely what you need to do to invoke emotion in your video game. Uh, yeah, Peter, what happens when all the gamers come back and they, uh, they realize that you lied? Well, here's what you do. You don't actually tell them that you lied. And say you'll do better next time. Trust me, works every time. So anyway, uh, Peter, how's Milo? How's he doing? Oh, he's cancelled. What's up, Let's Go? How you doing? Ethan Must Die took a grand total of four and a half hours. Stitched together through multiple attempts and deaths. When I was finished, I yelled as loud as I could. I was very, very happy. At work pushing carts? All right. Please excuse the tapping. Oh, that was easy. All right, that's a silver key. Woohoo! Oh, that feels good. 20 out of 30. I'm taking a look at these places, trying to remember of all the streams we've done a Fable, if I have done that particular thing or not. Uh, but let's go ahead and get the one here. Uh, on the south side. Ocarina of Time fishing minigame is the worst. I haven't played it in a good long while. That was actually something I was planning on doing uh, way, way later. I was actually thinking of doing Ocarina of Time, compare and contrast the old and the new. To watch your back. And uh, I, I don't know. It's it's on the drawing board at the very least. Oh, yeah. There is a dig spot here. Holy cow. I had no idea. Sweet. There's 21. All right. The next one, unfortunately, we have to go back to the Hob Cave. I I remember hearing of people who played uh, Smash 3DS so violently that they broke their thumbstick. And that's when I decided, you know what, I don't think I need to play it as much. I mean, I, I definitely appreciate putting Smash on a 3DS, but my gosh, I don't want to hurt it. Man, that's when I did a live stream when the game came out. That was a lot of fun. And I was trying to unlock all the characters at that time, just by, you know, playing the video game. That was a fuckload of uh, load-in. Is 12 enough? Damn it! I don't think I'm ever going to get that one, because there's nothing that ups your combat multiplier. Alright. I hate that I have to come all the way back here, but there is a silver key 
all the way back here. Sus, what do you mean? I'm not sus! Get out of here, I'm not sus. Shut up! <laughs> wow, there's actually quite a few keys I missed. <gasps> rent! I can pick up rent! Give me all my money! Or I'll pimp slap you. That's a special effect I have when I wear this hat. I can pimp slap people now. That's not real. Don't don't pay attention to me. That doesn't exist. I'm sorry. Yeah, I already got the... I already got the silver key back here. And just to double, triple check... Oh, yeah, I totally got that. Uh, money. Okay, okay. 7,000 more gold and I get that achievement. Or I could just die. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Sounds... Like a normal thing that people. I'm sorry, I don't quite follow. Okay. Ah, there is an important. Didn't. Did anyone else see that I just froze in midair? Like, oh my god, Fable, please. You're not this broken. Play hide-and-seek mode with chat for Among Us. Sounds fun. Yeah, I... I saw... some gameplay of hide-and-seek. And it looks like a lot of fun. Unfortunately, because I'd have to show my screen, there is... It is too tempting to just cheat. So it might have to workshop that. The official version shows you who the imposter is? I should hope so. Why wouldn't it? Is there really nothing back here? Let's see. What's the difference between this game and the original? There's a lot more content that was added to this. This was back in the day before being able to patch things and download DLC online. They just released the game again with the extra content on the disc. So they added... They actually added an epilogue, so to speak. They added an entire new area. They added quite a few things. And uh, I completely forgot that when you beat the final boss, where it is in the original game, you still have a final final boss that you can kill. I know because 2 had an epilogue DLC. I can barely remember anything about Fable 2. Except for the fact that the ending pissed me off. Like, it got me with a... HA! And then when I sat there and thought about it, I thought... That's stupid! That is the worst! So, I have... I have feelings about the end of Fable. Fable 2, excuse me. So, uh, yeah, when we get there, I'll definitely... Let it be known. Oh, what parts piss me off? Oh, it's such a stupid ending. I hate it. Where the hell is the teacher? I think the crappier part about Fable 2 is if you actually let the final boss monologue, the game kills him for you. If you sit there and listen to what the bad guy has to say, just out of nowhere, another hero takes the kill from you, and the game's over. That easy. It is stupid. I hate it. The dumbest things. Like, it's good for a laugh. Again, I thought it was funny the first time it happened. And then I really thought about it, I was like, that, that was a motherfucking kill steal. Okay, yeah, you wanna do that? You wanna do that? Ha! <laughs> Have a good day. Fine. Oh, uh, while I'm here, I am going to Do we already unlock the silver chest in Lady Grey's room? Is that a thing that happened? Whole game ruined because of that ending? Uh, no. 
not that it was ruined. It was just a very sour note to end the game on. It was just one of those. Ew, that was that was kind of icky. Like the entire time, I was having a a grand old time because I love Fable. And then I get to that, and it's just it, it's more like yeah, wasn't, wasn't exactly the best, but you know. Aha! Whoa! Hello, you! The katana hear you! For some reason, I feel like I've already picked this thing up. Folded metal is only so strong. The monks of the far hills used ancient supernatural skills to turn hear you into something special. Its secret died with them. It has a sharpening augment and a flame augment. And it's more powerful than what I have now. Give me that. I'll I'll have to see how it looks afterwards. I hope Fable 4 gets made and doesn't have a dumb ending. I'm going to take the first part of your statement there. I hope Fable 4 gets made. <laughs> oh god, the dev stories. They make me cry. I feel so bad. Microsoft doesn't know what to, what to do with all of its companies. It's making so many dumb decisions and saying, "Hey, you know this this uh, this engine, th this engine right here that you, you are used to using. Hey, uh, why don't you use this engine? Why don't you do this? And uh, hey, if you don't show any progress in two years, we're probably gonna can it. So go for it." Because it's not happening. No, it's having troubles. Uh, about three months ago, they had to restart development. I'm just happy uh, that they're leaving Double Fine alone. That is nice. Double Fine can do whatever they want. It's right here? Really? I didn't get this? Holy God! Okay. 24 silver keys. Now, let me take and take a little bit of inventory here. Yes, it's still open. Fuck yes. I was so scared. It could have glitched again and I would have been not been able to get this uh, silver key chest. So scared. Ah, there is an important quest card of the guild for you. Yes, thank you, guildmaster. The combo door seems like a pain in the ass. Uh, it's turning out to be, yeah. I honestly don't know how to get my combat multiplier up that high in order for it to open. I'm scared. Mana augmentation. That is brand new. This regenerates mana energy continuously while the augmented weapon is assigned and your melee arranged weapon. Bind this augmentation to your weapon through the weapon menu. This is permanent. Dude! That's really good. Happy with that. Here we go. So here on Cliffside Path... And a lot of zombies. God, I hate that flourish that they do when they come out. It's so annoying. Right here. This is for a silver key. Ta-da! Scapcom announced new DLC for Village or just Shadows of Rose? They're just doing Shadows of Rose. Yep, Village is done. Which I am absolutely okay with. Oh yeah, there's a demon door here! We can woo a demon door! Okay, okay. Oh my god, I didn't get the one here. Wow, okay. Thank you, that's 26. So, looking over it again. Hob Cave, Grey House, Knothole Glade, Witchwood Stones. Yes, we got that one. Uh, Witchwood Lake, Windmill Hill, Windmill Hill number two. The Three Keys in Litchfield Graveyard. We've got the cliffside path. Was the prison where you started in the game? Oh no, that's where we broke out our mum. 
Uh, Headsman's Hill, Bowerstone Manor. So the last ones I'm missing, after having 26... Did, did I just have a brain fart? Hold on. Let me, let me actually check how many silver keys I have. 26! Okay, cool. So there is one in Hook Coast that I can get next. There is the Bowerstone Book Donation. And there are two in the new Lost Chapters quest lines. That's all of them. So that is all 30 silver keys currently accounted for. We need to go back and get the rest of them. But for now, that's all of them. So now what we're going to do is go around and get some treasure. I am so ready to get some mother flippin' treasure. How about you guys? Because we have so many of these, we can go get them. Oh, and uh, also, there aren't too many. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've actually gotten quite a few of them already. So this is just going to be a little bit of cleanup. Probably the date. I never open on a first date. My heart has been broken too many times before. I could only let someone who really loved me through. Okay. Well, guess what, Demon Door? I love you. Here. Have a rose. Oh, you really know how to treat a door. I will always be open to you. You've made me so happy. I can feel pebbles welling up in my eyes. I can't believe that worked. I did not expect that that would work. Wow. Let's see... I believe we got the one at Grey House. Whoa. Look at this. And it's playing my favorite theme. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, is, is that the entire outfit? Please tell me that's the entire outfit. Yes! Oh, hell yes! D oh, shit. Yes! This is my favorite outfit. Yes! We are now Ass Kisser the White or something, whatever I named my hero. Oh, yeah, Man Whore the White. <laughs> the Great Wizard Man Whore the White. Oh. I'm Max Good. I have reached maximum good boy points. Wow. As I accidentally throw lightning. Oh my god. Uh, Guys. There is an important quest card at the guild for you. Grandma loves me. No thank you. No thank you. I wish not. I wish not! If there was a trophy... There, sadly, is not a trophy for what I'm about to tell you. But, in Danganronpa V3, there, uh, do you know the impossible minigame that they have you play in Chapter 1? The one where all 16 of you try to escape, and then you all get got because it's an unfair trap? I have beaten it. And I have footage to prove it. Not only that... But... When I did that, because I did it strictly for the Let's Play... I went online to try and find the other secret ending tied to that minigame. It does not exist on the internet anymore. 
which means I had to do it twice. And I fucking did it and have footage to prove it. I'm a fucking gamer. <laughs> and that's also why it has taken me literal years to finish up the Danganronpa V3 LP. Because I've been working on it in the background, getting extremely pissed off trying to get all the footage I need. <sighs> so yeah, I feel pretty good about that. Don't know if you could figure that out. How long did it take you to beat it? Well, let's see. I have about nine hours of footage for the first time I did it. And eight and a half hours of footage for the second time I had to do it. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of footage. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, you're telling me. And... Got it! That's been staring us in the face since the beginning of the game. The Murin Great Hammer. The Murin Graves were robbed during the collapse of the Old Kingdom. This Great Hammer and, great, and a Great Axe were never recovered. Both are said to be forged by the wills of the gods themselves. An experience augmentation and a piercing augmentation. It is a heavy weapon, unfortunately. <sighs> Hardest platinum you've gotten? Uh, Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Meaning I had to sit through the entirety of all the cutscenes of 358 over two days. Wait, really? You need a crossbow and just hold the button for a minute or two and then hit the troll. What? You know what? I kind of want to try that before we before we move on. Yeah, I think I, we're going to go do that real quick. What's that trophy? Oh, for watching all the cutscenes of 358 over two days. You literally just watch the upgraded cutscenes. That's all. The entire game has cutscenes but they didn't port the game to PS3. They just ported the HD cutscenes because it used to be a D, uh, DS game. So you watch the cutscenes for the easiest platinum of your life. It was amazing. And because there's no context for all the gameplay you have to do, you are just getting the Kingdom Hearts story as silly as it may be at all times. If you're just sitting there with an audience, you're, you'll go mad. <laughs> it's, it's the funniest thing. Should work because that's how I do the door. Okay. Okay, so you said, is it any crossbow or is it a specific crossbow? So you're telling me, if I equip a crossbow and just sit here holding it for two minutes my combat multiplier is gonna just skyrocket through the roof because that sounds hilarious <laughs> any crossbow okay well let's give it a shot might be a bit tough actually you know what I could just hold it here spawn him and then attack him okay I am holding the crossbow. So while I'm doing this, how's everybody doing? Uh, you butthead! I like you! Getting get a little little choppiness in the uh, in the visual department too. I wonder if it'll actually fix itself after we kill this guy. 
but if it's data overflow, that would be hilarious. It's going faster! The game might actually be breaking! Yeah, look how much faster it's going! I think the game skipping frames is actually making the monster faster! We may have found data overload! Holy crap! Yeah, it's getting choppy, the audio's having trouble. We got some screen tearing. In fucking credible. Oh my god, I hate everything! I hate this fucking troll! Die! Oh, here we go. Thank you, Sims Mage. I'm just gonna you know, chill here for a little bit. Did I get Fable 1 on launch day? Uh, no. It was one of my very first rated M games. I saw a frame of him uh, there before coming out of the ground. Yeah, this game's a mess. Uh, I got the original Fable from a yard sale, and then the Lost Chapters and Conquer Live and Reloaded were my very first M rated games I ever bought. How much? I don't know. Thirty dollars? I don't remember that far. It was back when I turned 17. I'm 32 now. Thank the YouTuber I learned the trick from. Okay. Yeah, this is a hilarious exploit. I can't believe we're the same age. You sound 24. I look 24 too. If I get rid of all my facial hair, I tell people I lose 10 years off my life. I've got a baby face. UDJ is as old as I thought he is. He's only two years older than me. And that's always been the joke ever since we were in high school. It's like, hey, hey, you're old. And then I've reached up to where he is, and I'm just like, okay, maybe it's not that bad. This is going to sound extremely silly, but I just had a just had a thought come back to my mind. When UDJ graduated high school, the Wii had just come out. And he managed to get his hands on a used Wii console. And he was the one to show off the brand new Wii system. That was so long ago. Have you ever rage quit a game? Uh, yeah, I'm about to rage quit Fable. I honestly did rage quit Fable when we streamed it one day. I was not having a good day, and uh, it was after I failed the mission to save the young boy in Hob Cave, surprisingly, that I just, uh, I legitimately rage quit. Any besides Fable? Uh, sure, Danganronpa V3, uh, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Ethan Must Die. Alright, that should be enough. Holy fuck! You were right! That's awesome! Oh yes, you are the man. Get your ass through here. Thank you! I didn't think we'd be able to finish that one. And now, before it goes down, do I have any potions? Ages of? I don't. I'll have to find an ages of potion and do that again off screen if I actually want the achievement. Cool! Yay, that makes me extremely happy, thank you. The Butterfly House. Wow. Look at this place. The Cutlass Blutain. Though cutlasses were the weapon of ch weapons of choice for the old shipmasters around Hook Coast, Blutain was part of a legendary treasure and was never used in combat. Its hunger for blood is palpable. It has a lightning augmentation. And not nearly as good as what we have now, but still nice to have. Awesome. And now that I've done that, get rid of this crossbow. Thanks, I hate it. Now where was that? Where was that one long bow? It was, uh, yeah, here we go. Ta-da! normally do this door before Twin Blade. I normally do as well. I guess I just missed out on it. 
Oops. Yeah, it looks like we're still having a little bit of screen tearing, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. That's it. That is all I wanted to do in the case of cleanup. Every other mission is done. We can now move on to the main missions. Hey, butthead. Not today. <laughs> Take me away. Later, loser.